What kind of hitting advice would you give uh, aspiring baseball players out there looking to kind of take their game to the next level? Well, first of all, hitting is all about trust. You know, you gotta you gotta be able to trust yourself and your ability. And uh, the second thing is tr uh, knowing what kind of hitter you are. If you're not a power hitter, you should, you should go with a short stride to try to put the ball in play. But if you're a guy that creates power, uh, like a couple of the guys we have on our team, uh, you know, you just, just uh, look for pitches and, and try to drive the ball. And, and it's, it's all about what kind of hitter you are. And the, the biggest thing is, you know, keeping your head and your shoulders balanced. Everything's got to be in sync. Uh, one of the reasons it's so hard to hit because the ball's not straight. You right. know? Uh, pitchers do throw a lot of pitches and, and you got to be able to make adjustments. Um, are there any specific drills you have that kind of help kind of with that head and shoulder, keeping it on a level? Well, the, the big, for me, the biggest thing that has helped uh, most of the players that I've thought uh, hitting has been uh, the tee, tee work. Yep. Uh, I like to do front tee. Uh, I also like to do a lot of soft toss so the guys can track the ball and see the ball, try to let the ball come in deep. Uh, some other drills you can do is side, uh, side flips. And I'm, I'm really big on hitting on the field. Uh, you got to be able to see where the ball travels yeah. and uh, how does the ball travel off your back because it travels differently off everybody else's back. So those are those are kind of some of the, the ones that I've used before. I, I'm basically one of the guys that's more uh, not so much high tech. It's more about repetition and trying to create, you know, it's it's a muscle memory. It's trying to create that muscle memory and knowing when to react to the ball and when to take. Yeah. Final question. You've gotten a chance to see a lot of great hitters and be around a lot of, you know, good players. What's the biggest separator you see from the between the good and great hitters? Trust. It's got to be trust. Uh, yeah. People call it cockiness. I, I call it trust. Guys that are good. I work with a lot of good big league hitters. Uh, you know, guys like Milko, Miguel Cabrera, and Robinson. You know, the biggest thing with them is that they trust themselves. You know, they, they trust that they're going to be able to drive the ball and they don't panic when they get to stretch. Yeah. It's time for